Oh my god. Why? What? What is this? Why would you do this? <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of getting ready. We're about to go out and <laughs> Destiny got this message on Instagram saying, oh my gosh, you're so sexy, Destiny. And then I'm not going to show you because I feel like that's kind of, I guess it would be rude. Um, sent a picture of herself and then sent a picture of her boobs and her thighs. And she's like, please respond. Destiny doesn't really respond to people, especially this, like what? Hello everyone, I love these few clips that I've put together. Um, I feel like some of her older content just really make me laugh and she's so funny, unintentionally. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to talk too much because I know you like the compilation style videos, so let's go. And then they go, you and Amberlynn are sexy. So I replied with, hi, this is Amberlynn, Destiny's girlfriend. I'm assuming you watch my YouTube videos. And I find it very disgusting, immature, and downright rude to be sending my sexy girlfriend nasty pictures of yourself. She doesn't want to see your boobs. She doesn't want to see your thighs. And she most definitely doesn't want to respond to you. I know you guys might think that's really rude. But it's like these people, this is not the first time this has happened, by the way. <laughs> wow. Um, these people watch my YouTube and they know that Destiny is my girlfriend and it's like these are real people trying to get my girlfriend to like I don't know what they're trying to do but it's just really weird and I'm just like okay like I mean I've had a few incidents of people doing the same thing to me but I just don't reply but then like this is my YouTube channel Destiny's just in it you know if that makes sense the first bit was like Oh, don't worry, guys. This happens to me as well because I'm the star of the show. And then the second part was like, uh, if you're going to send these kind of messages, you need to be sending it to me so that Destiny can get jealous and not me. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's the vibes that I got. I'm going to get ready. We're going to um, eat somewhere, obviously, because that's just what we do. Like, you guys can say stuff about it, but that's just what we do. How long has it been since he had the heart attack? How Yeah, he's been in the hospital six times in three weeks because of it. And I find it very, like, rude. Actually, the second time he went in, the doctors literally said, you ate a whole bag of potato chips once you went home. What? Like, that wasn't true, first of all, and it's, like, a whole other story. But they totally blamed um, his issues on the fact that he's he ate a whole bag of potato chips. And, like, they were just really rude about it. But anyways... I know it's hard to take care of like heart problems and stuff like that and I just really want him to get better but I feel like the hospital needs to not blame the issues on something that didn't happen. I feel like she personally was offended by this. It almost feels like she also had a bag of chips and she she took that offense on her. I just usually get two tacos. She mixes her rice and beans. I always get the chicken rice beans and it comes with some tortillas. We have to ask what room he's in. What are you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. Oh, he didn't get that big. Huh? He's, he's about the size of Rebel. He's what? not much bigger than her. What the hell? Wow. We rarely see her from this angle, huh? It really puts things into perspective in terms of, you know, her true size. Um, she only films other people from this angle. Hello, everybody. So this was not expectant at all. As you guys know, I had a job interview. This was like over a week ago and they never called me back and I was expecting like them just not to call me. I thought maybe they didn't like me and they just acted like they did when I was there because they wanted to be nice and they were very nice people. But, um. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're gonna wear because you have to wear like scrubs, baby. I don't have scrubs. Said, she doesn't have scrubs. You can wear your black pants. I just don't know what kind of shirt you're gonna be wanting to wear. Okay, so today I'm going in. I'm being trained. Today is my first day, like. I gotta call my dad. What the fuck? You know how she goes around and says, oh, I'm so proud I've done this. Oh, I'm so proud of myself I've done this. This is probably one of the things that she should have 
actually been proud of because she got a job and even destiny was shocked did you hear that she's like i gotta call my dad for god's sake she's finally got a job she's gonna leave me alone however to much of destiny's surprise um the place that amber actually got a job in was in destiny's workplace and from destiny's newest video you can tell that she was actually very frustrated with working with amber she you can tell that she's not a very easy person to be around I won't lie, the screeching alone really gets to me. <laughs> Destiny and I are like freaking out. We're like, oh my God, is this really happening? This is really happening. I have a freaking job. And I just go to Walmart and get you a scrub top. I don't, they won't fit. They have big size. They won't. We can look real fast. We have to get ready so fast. Oh my God. I have no scrubs. Like this is like a whole thing. I will explain everything later. I need to get ready. I only have like an hour. I'm so nervous. It's kind of sad seeing these videos because when I look at her here, I can see, looking at her eyes, you can see that there's excitement, there's passion, there's happiness, and there's there's a meaning. Whereas now, it's kind of like she's lost the will to live. And it's really sad. There's, there's some kind of emptiness there. And what makes me the most nervous right now is because... The only legitimate job I've ever had was at a boys and girls club and it was very nonchalant. Like all I did was sit there with these second graders while they did their homework and stuff. I'm very used to being not doing much during the day as you guys saw that and they need someone who's fast on our feet and I don't really consider myself fast on my feet. So I'm gonna push myself the hardest I can. You guys, I officially have a job. I officially have a job. Ah! Like, I'm so proud of myself. Destiny and I start our job. I just still can't get over that we're starting together. Um, our orientation is coming up. I'm really nervous. I just, I don't know how I can handle a government job. I feel like I'm gonna fuck everything up, but wish me luck, please. I need it. So it's 1.05 a.m. I just got off of work, came home, ate something. I am so exhausted. My feet are aching like hell. My legs hurt really bad. My first day went really, really good. Do you remember a little while ago she was saying that, well, my feet never hurt. I never had that problem. I don't know why the teacher asked that. Um, even now as an adult, my feet don't hurt. Now, the reason that your feet don't hurt is because you are not physically active. You even admitted yourself here that um, you're used to doing nothing. And today's the first day that you've done something and your feet are hurting. You see? I got kind of close to like one or two residents already. I got off of work before Destiny. I clocked out before her, but she's my ride. So I had time to kind of just get to know some residents. Okay, Destiny just interrupted me to show me this picture. <laughs> When you thought dating a white dude was gonna solve your problems, what even is this? Like, what the hell is that? So I definitely had to be really fast on my feet. I was on my feet the whole day. I think when they said to her, you have to be fast on her feet, as well as physically being fast, I think they meant like, take initiative, think properly, you know, do things without being told to. Uh, <laughs> and I think she's just taken it quite literally. It was hard. I want to say that. It was really hard, but I pushed myself. I have a job. Like, holy hot shit. How was your day at work? Good. How was your day at work? Good. My feet hurt. You didn't see what I got? I guess you'll be surprised. Tell them what you got for food. Okay, you show what you got. I got the Grand American Slam. <laughs> I got fries and this is like a burger. Now I'm freaking sick. I couldn't finish it all. Destiny ate some of my fries, so I don't think I ate all those. Oh, I'm so full. And she's taking some of these with her. Must have been. take the peas. Ew! Ew, I Destiny just saw some of your snot like, <laughs> on the wood. Destiny, you're sneezing on our new furniture. Gross. Some of these scratches are coming off my rug. Say goodbye to the desk. That's all I can say. That's just not cute. There it is, you guys. Destiny finished it last night while I was laying in bed because I was trying to sleep, but the hammer wouldn't let me sleep. This must be some kind of a hierarchy thing where Amber's probably like, well, I bought it, so you got to fix it. Thanks. Bye. It's okay. <laughs> I wasn't hammering, I know, but it's so loud. I just got out of the shower, so I just have a towel on, so just don't mind that. My hair's all messed up. Ew. 
As you guys could see, I'm down 6.6 .6 from my last weigh-in, which was just actually pretty recent. That's good. I have another day at work today. Destiny's off. Totally jelly. Oh my god, why? What? What is this? Why would you do this? After work, we might go to uh, our friend's house. I guess we'll see though. It depends on how I feel because work really is hard and my feet hurt all the time now. Okay, there. She's confirmed it for the second time. Her feet hurt all the time now because she's on her feet. Okay? So your feet do hurt. Stop the bullshit. And my legs hurt all the time, and I'm just like internally exhausted, but that's okay. <laughs>